Hello, thank you so much for tuning in to another video here at Explicitly You. And today in this video, we're gonna show you how we created and installed this naturally locked topper. So as you can take a look, you can see this topper is seamless. It is just looking so natural. You would never know that this client is wearing a topper and we're gonna show you how we did it. So here is just a close up here on the mannequin head. You can get an idea of the density and the length. What we did was we actually started out with the client's natural locks. So she trimmed her the length off of the locks that she had from the hair remaining from the back of her head. And then we just had to fill in any, you know, um, gaps with braiding hair. First, we used a mesh neck cap and we used that braiding hair to create a braid to insert in the loops of that mesh. And from there, use more braiding hair to kind of loop it around the braid to give it that lock appearance. And again, this is just, you know, in between some of the gaps that she had um, where we needed to provide more density in addition to her natural hair. So you can see my mom is just twisting, twisting, twisting all the way to the end. Again, you don't have to do this step so much. Um, we very well could have just looped in her locks, kind of like crochet braiding, how you would crochet hair onto a braid. Just crochet that onto the net that you use for the cap. However, we just wanted to make sure it was thick and looking full. So my mom had to create some faux locks to kind of fill in any spaces that she would have. And we totally realized, like, kind of after already making this topper, you know what? We should be recording this because this might be helpful to somebody. So sorry, sorry we missed the actual part of her constructing the actual topper um, with the mesh and also looping her natural locks in there. But honestly, you can kind of get the gist. You're just using that mesh cap. And we'll show you a bit later, kind of like the construction of the inside. As long as you know how to create those faux locks, you should be good. Like here's a little sneak peek. You know, you just kind of cut that cap to the desired size that you need for your topper. There's the inside, as you can see. And it's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty easy, honestly. She did put on some lace to the front. That way she can glue it down and give her a scalp-like appearance. And this is her just putting it, placing it onto the client's head. So really easy. You saw it did have clips on the inside as well. So that way she can clip it onto her hair in addition to like gluing a bit down in the front. She did specify that she likes a side part. Um, so that's where we went. That's what we went with. She won't be able to ship the parts a whole lot. However, you can see it just lays so nicely. And so, yeah, and that is the finished product once installed.